Coach Kyle coming at you talking about why you may not want to sink your bench press. So I had a great conversation with one of my buddies in San Diego right after the uh, uh, powerlifting meet uh, nationals that we were just at, national championships. And something we talked about, a lot of times I've had athletes who have a really bad sink. Now there's some world champion bench pressers who get away with that and do pretty well. I would argue they'll probably bench press more weight if they can reduce their range of motion and keep that bar from sinking. The problem is as a young athlete or, or a seasoned athlete that may not have their leverages and mechanics, if we try to match that, we're doing a lot of problems with our shoulder, asking for issues. We've talked extensively about that. Uh, Coach Brandon and I just did a video here that prompted this conversation about the head coming up off the bench. So in discussion, it was really cool to see the actual measurements come through on a velocity device. We were using it there in San Diego and we got to see what really happens. I've always said it's about a two board, right? Two board shoulder saver pad, we have about two inches. For people that sink, if they put a shoulder saver pad or a two board press down, I can guarantee most of them, not everybody, but most people will press more weight. Now I still might sink into those boards, but the range of motion is higher. Let's say for sake of the argument, it's 40 pounds. If you can press 40 more pounds to a two board, if you're sinking a two board down, if we could take away that board and increase your strength over time, you will probably increase about 40 pounds. Now it's not that easy because if you're not strong in that position, you're not going to be able to press your optimal strength. So it's something you're gonna have to build up with pauses, sputos, tempos, all that good stuff. Let's measure range of motion today if I sink or if I stay tall. I'll do my best to grab the exact same spot on the bar so I have middle finger on the rings. Staying full, just getting to a touch, not allowing it to sink in or change my mechanics. And the velocity device says 29.67 millimeters and 32 millimeters. Some of that could be from the difference in my lockout. So 29, 32, we'll call that as our average. Now if I sink the bar, same setup, <clears throat> middle finger on the rings, see what the velocity device says. 39.46 and 40.46. So if we go off our lowest ones, <clears throat> 39 centimeters and 29 centimeters. <clears throat> We're looking at a difference of almost four inches we're looking at 3.9 inches. So let's even cut that down and say three and a half inches. You're literally looking at over a two board press. I increased my range of motion by an, over an inch more than this shoulder saver pad. That is more than the extra range of motion in a duffalo bar. So you may feel stronger there, but just measure it out. Check it out and see for yourself. Is that extra range of motion getting enough momentum to help me in my press? Or am I just pressing extra deep and I really don't need that range of motion, let alone the risk on my shoulders? Go fix your bench press.